<laughs> no way. This is Rex Hartroom, and what, what, what you are about to witness is one of the most amazing personalities to, to ever be on the World Wide Web. Me, Rex Hartroom, inviting you, <laughs> you to, to play the most epic game in the history of life. But, but, but wait, there's, there's more. The choice is yours. Yes, yours. Yes, yours. Will you say, 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 say yes to me, Rex Hartroom, and then start the game? You have 30 minutes. Yes, th th 30 minutes to crash into God before the internet crashes. All right. Good luck. Welcome back, Joan, to the game of Crash, where you have 30 minutes to crash into God before the internet crash. I'm Nigel, your guide for this game. Everything you need to find God is your comfort is in this backpack. Are you ready? Uh, Welcome back, again. coaches Jim from Muscles, Joan. Good to see you. Hi. Guess what you're doing today, Joan? What? You're gonna be searching for God as your comfort, all right? And so you are in the right place right here at Coach's Gym for Muscle. So in order to crash into God before the internet crashes, you're gonna need to be flexible, you're gonna need to be, you're gonna need to be teachable, and you're gonna need to be full of energy, Joan, and you need to lose that sass because we got a lot of workouts to do today, Yes, Joan. Coach! We're starting out with some stretches just as usual. Okay. And so today we're doing knee hugs. You know what knee hugs are, Joan? Come on, Joan, it's with your knees. You're hugging your knees. Okay. Kids, this is a knee hug. All right, this is our stretch for today. We're gonna be doing five seconds on one leg and five seconds on the other leg. When I blow my whistle, you'll start. When I blow it again, you'll switch legs. And one last time to finish it off. You got it, Joan? Yes, sir. You got it, boys and girls? Awesome. In three, two, one. One, two, three, four. Switch legs, Joan, come on, Joan. Set. One. Two, three, keep your balance. Four, five. Good job, Joan. You're getting it. better, Joan. Got some good stretching. And so now for our first workout today, boys and girls, we're going to be doing what's called a toe-knee touch. Joan, have you ever heard of a toe-knee touch before? Yes, sir. All right, well, kids, this is a new workout that we've uh, created here at Coach's Gym for Muscles. And so a toe-knee touch is you're going down to your toes, and then you're bending back and touching your knees, and you're going back to your toes, and then you're coming back up. You got this, boys and girls? You got this, Joan? I think so. Come on, Joan, we need better attitude. Do you have this, Joan? I know so, I do got it. All right, Joan, that's better. All right, in three, two, one. You're doing eight of these, go. One, two. Uh, Come on, Joan, there you go, two. Back down, Joan. Three, you're getting better, Joe. Come on, I need some more after Joe. I'm sorry. Four, Joe. Come on, boys and girls, you got this two. That's five. You're almost there, Joe. That's six. Two more, Joe. Come on, Joe. Seven. Oh, Five more, Joe. There we go, Joe. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Y'all are doing great work today. I did Catch it. Catch your breath. You did, Joe. Catch your breath. Put your hands on your knees. Don't get too full of yourself, though. Yes, you're getting sir. better, but you're not there yet, Joe. Yes, sir. Joe, you did good work today. Welcome back, Joan. Joan, are you ready to learn the next part of our dance? Yeah. Good. All right, boys and girls, I want you to go ahead and stand up because we're going to learn the next section of our dance. So we're going to start off with a move that looks like this, okay? So I want you to stretch your arms out as wide as they go and take your left leg and point it out, okay? And then when we get this position, we're going to take our right arm and our left leg, and we're gonna pull them together like this, okay? So on the count of three, let's do that together. One, two, three. Good job. So now that we've done that, I want all of y'all to count to three. One, two, three. So that's how many things, that's how many times you need to count in your head when we do this move. So we're gonna go one, two, three, okay? Let's do that together. So one, two, three. One, two, three. All right, now that we've counted to three, we're gonna move to the other side. So do the same thing just with your left arm and your right leg. And we're gonna count to three with that. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, so now that we know both sides Let's do that together. We're gonna do it a couple times. So let's all join and follow along as we do this. One, two, three. One, two, 
three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. All right, I feel like y'all have got a good hang of it. Are you ready to move on to the next part of our song? So this next part of our song is actually something that we already know. So we're gonna go back into our skate move. I'm sure y'all have been practicing, so this will come easy to you. So on the count of three, I want all of us to do a few skates. One, two, three. Y'all did so good. This next part of our song is actually something we already know as well. So we just learned these moves, right? Now that we know that, we're gonna go back through it again. So this is our second time going through this. Do you think you can handle doing it all at once? So let's go through those moves on the count of three. One, two, three. Now roll your arms. And don't forget the freestyle. All right, boys and girls, y'all did so good. Thank you for practicing, it really shows. Are you ready? Do you think you can handle going through it all together? I think you can too. So on the count of three, let's go through everything we know. All right, one, two, three. good. Joan, you're doing great. Don't worry about the time. Focus on the task at hand. Hey boys and girls, it's scavenger hunt time. Do you want to help Joan crash into God before the internet crashes? God is your comfort. You have one minute to find your favorite stuffed animal or even a blanket. Ready? Go. lot of comfort, but I don't have anything that brings me comfort. Remember, Joan, everything you need is always in your backpack. It's my stuffed animal that I sleep with every Aww. night. <laughs> hey, Joan. I see you have your bear today. Mm -hmm. You're on your quest for comfort, aren't you? Do I have the perfect verse for you? <laughs> Hebrews 13.5? God promises, he says, I will never you leave you. I will never run away from you. I want to show you something. This verse reminds me of a little boy named Nicholas that was looking for comfort. He had just lost the championship soccer game. 
If he could only have one more chance, hit a replay button to score the winning goal. He was so angry and upset with himself, he couldn't believe he missed. Later that evening, after getting ready for bed, his mother entered the room and noticed he was restless. She asked him, where's Boris? You never go to bed without your favorite bear, especially if you're upset about something. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for loving us so much. Thank you for the Holy Spirit that comforts us when we are sad. In Jesus' name. So you see, just like you have your bear, Nicholas had his bear also. So it doesn't matter what happens in our lives, God gives us comfort. He created us so he knows everything about you. So the next time you look at your little bear, you remember that God has given us Jesus. And if you've accepted him in your heart, then we have the perfect comforter. Joby! Today I learned how God can comfort us. You have one minute remaining until the internet crashes. I am so happy you made it this far. Same. But can you tell me what the Bible says about God and his comfort? I think I might need some help with that. Remember, Joan, everything you need is always in your backpack. Right. The Bible says in Hebrews 13, 5, God has said, I will never leave you. I will never run away from you. Yay! Congratulations on successfully crashing into God before the internet crashed. This is, this is Rex Hartrim and inviting you to join us tomorrow if you want to take another try at, at crashing into God before the internet crashes. Hello. Hello.